Hey there. Welcome to no time for the intro. I have to tell you guys something. I don't know if you've been catching all the hidden messages in some past videos. Well, I'm proud to expose, I, I mean announce, Life Noggin is launching a brand new channel. It's called Friends with Answers, and it's 100% Blocko approved. Friends with Answers is a weekly animated show where the human people behind Life Noggin sit down to debate, discuss, or sometimes completely derail a new and fun topic. I think it's a super funny show and you might learn something along the way, which I know you guys really like. Pause this video and click the first link in the description to go subscribe now. I'll wait, I'll be here when you get back, don't worry. Okay, are we good? Let's do this. There's a big battle going on down here in the circuit boards. Remember when we went to visit the Big Brains? Well, they have a secret, and it's driving them apart, literally. Recently, they all had a big argument, and every Big Brain split up into their left and right brainules. And things just haven't been the same ever since. Come on, guys, let's sit down and talk about this like adults. Or however old you are. <sighs> okay, they keep fighting, so I guess I have to show them what they're missing. Now, while we're filling up, we might as well talk about how this matters to you humans. You're obviously not made of two brainules, but what would happen if something similar happened to you, and you only had half a brain? Assuming that you'd otherwise be okay, things would likely change for you, at least to some degree. Let's take a look at the left brain versus right brain belief. This says that you have a more dominant side of your brain, and that it affects your personality, making you more logical and detail-oriented, or more creative and imaginative. Jeez, how long does it take to fill up this thing? Now, this is fun to talk about, but the thought of being more left-brained or right-brained has gotten a lot of backlash and isn't really supported by science. According to a 2013 study done by the University of Utah, neuroimaging data hasn't provided any clear evidence on whether or not these differences in left-brain versus right-brain dominance really exist. After looking at the noggins of over 1,000 people between the age of 7 to 29, researchers found that a person's brain lateralization, which is basically the two halves of your brain being different and having separate functions appear to be a local property of the brain rather than a global one. That said, losing half of your brain might offer up other, more specific changes to your life. For example, a 2012 study that looked at people's motor controls suggests that the left hemisphere of your brain is more involved with learning new motor skills, while the right hemisphere is more important in updating your ongoing actions. So you might run into issues there. But what if instead of missing half of your brain, you were instead missing a much smaller part, like maybe a bit of your gray matter? Well, it looks like that could still make a difference. Recent research that looked at the structural brain images of 34 patients, 17 of them having Narcissistic Personality Disorder, or NPD, found that the patients with NPD had less gray matter volume in the brain's left anterior insula. This was the first empirical evidence that the brains of patients with NPD had structural abnormalities. Not only does it help us learn more about the disorder, but it has me thinking that you might have more narcissistic tendencies if your gray matter volume suddenly went down. So yeah, your brain is pretty important, and not having parts of it could definitely change you. See, it's better when everything's together, right guys? Yes, okay, hug it out. Oh, okay, they're fusing together. That is gross and beautiful. Yay, friendship. So are you more creative or logical? Maybe a bit of both? Let us know in the comment section below or tell us. What should we talk about next? The first ever episode of Friends With Answers is live. It is about Mars. Go check it out right now and subscribe. I think it's 300 days. That's the longest it would take. 300 days in the car together. Uh, That's a true test of a relationship. Who would murder who first? Oh, she would definitely murder me. As always, my name is Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.